creating how-to videos or uh, video ads for your company or business has never been easier with Camtasia Studio 5. Um, on this video, I just want to show you how the average Joe can create a short video advertising their product um, to be placed on YouTube, uh, MySpace, or any of the other uh, video websites by just using a few simple, easy to learn steps. Um, what I did first was go to CamtasiaStudio.com. That's CamtasiaStudio.com, and I downloaded uh, Camtasia Studio 5. It's the 30-day uh, free trial version. Um, if you want to keep it after that, it's $2.99. But they did away with the uh, free version, which uh, I'm actually using to record this video. Um, so. Um, Basically, I just want to show you a few steps. Now, if you have any other questions, when you first download Camtasia Studio 5, they give you the option of going to this web page here to get uh, more videos on recording um, using Camtasia 5 Studio with PowerPoint editing. Um, the, there's almost no limits uh, with this software. But if you're just looking, uh, if you're not very computer savvy, then um, we can just get along with just using uh, just a few basic steps to do it. So let's go to Camtasia Studio 5. I have it down here in my quick launch bar and pull it up. When it first pops up, um, I have the 30 day trial thing that comes up, so I just hit finish. And you always get a menu that pops up that gives you several options. Uh, we want to do a screen recording, so let's do new screen recording. And what's going to pop up is a menu um, that lets you select microphone um, and, and it gives you your volume here. You can adjust your volume. Um, when you're ready to record, oh and by the way you can select uh, audio options. I'm personally using a, uh, a blue microphone. Um, it's uh, called the Blue Snowball. It's 99 bucks. I got it at the Apple Store. You could probably find it much cheaper online. But it's a professional USB microphone. Um, I really like it a lot. Uh, so once you're ready to record, you're going to hit Select Area to Record. And a little grid is going to pop up. And you just basically move it where you want. Hold down the left mouse key and highlight the area of the screen. Just drag it where you, where you want to record. When you're done, just lift up on the left mouse key. Now press the record button when you record. As you can see here, the um, your mouse pet, your mouse uh, icon starts flashing a little bit. That lets you know you're recording. When you're done, just come down here and hit stop, and it'll automatically give you a preview of the video that you just shot. If you're happy with it, you can hit save, or if you don't like it, you can delete. We're gonna hit save. And uh, it automatically pops up in a folder I've created for YouTube videos. We're going to call this um, YouTube oh, YouTube Vid 2. We're going to hit save. It's going to process the recording and it's going to give me some post save options. Since we're doing this for YouTube, I want to select the option of produce my video in a shareable format. From here you're going to hit OK. And a screen is going to pop up. It's going to give you different methods of rendering your project. We're going to hit custom production settings, which I already have. We're going to hit next. And I want to do a Windows media streaming video, a WAV format. So we're going to hit next. Now most of these are, are going to be default. Uh, we want the best quality file size. Next. Um, now, now what I want to do here, since I'm putting it on YouTube, YouTube recommends that I put it at a 640 by a 480 resolution. So I'm going to click Preset Video Sizes to make sure that this is selected. And we're going to hit Next again. I'm going to hit Next again. Next one more time. Now you're ready to give it a production name. I'm going to leave it there. It's Once again, it's going into my folder for YouTube videos. Um, there's some other options here you can play with. So um, I don't really uh, want to play the video after production. So let's hit finish. And it's going to render the project since it's only a 
five or six second video it should render pretty quickly for larger formats uh, it'll take a little bit longer once it's done re rendering what we're going to do is click finish I'm going to close out of Camtasia I'm going to go I'm going to hit upload now this is assuming that you already have an account um, if you don't have an account, all you got to do is go to youtube.com, hit the upload icon, and if you have an account, you just enter your login information. If you don't, uh, then you can sign up there. There are two ways to upload your video. This is the easiest way if it's a small video. If it's a larger video, uh, you'll want to use their, um, their multi-video uploader. This is for uploading multiple videos or large videos. So th this way is for files that are uh, smaller than 100 megabytes. The multi-video uploader is for a file that is bigger than 100 megabytes. So let's go to the use multi-video uploader um, to give you an idea of how this works. When the multi-video uploader comes up, um, you can hit add videos to list. We're going to go to desktop, YouTube videos, uh, I think that you, okay, YouTube video 2. Double click that and it appears down here in the file name. We want to add a title. How to YouTube vid, a description, YouTube vid, and YouTube vid. Now as a side note, it's best um, for optimal options or, or, or for, for the best uh, way to get people to get connected to your video is to enter the same keywords in the title, description, and tags. Now we're going to enter some options. Um, for now, I want to make this a private video. So I'm going to choose private <coughs> how-to category um, since we're just putting it up here so I can show you. I'm just going to hit save options. We're going to upload the video. And right here you can see a status bar, 48%. It's going to load pretty quickly since it's only a sick video, but be prepared to wait much longer for much bigger files and depending on your computer, internet connection, all of that. Uh, see, it's already completed. Now when you go up here to account, you're going to click account, then you're going to go to manage my videos, videos, favorites, and playlists. And you'll see here that it hasn't uploaded yet. Um, it says that it's uploaded and it's processing, please wait. So this could take, even for a six second video, this sometimes can take a couple of minutes. But once again, for much larger videos, um, this could take um, anywhere from an hour, a couple hours, depending on the size of the video and the uh, speed of your internet connection. Now that your video is fully uploaded, you can click on it and uh, you have now successfully created your first YouTube ad. Uh, there's one other thing I want to show you. Um, it's a little trick in Camtasia Recorder. When you have this menu up in Tasia Studio 5, um, you can go to Tools, Options, and click on the tab that says Hotkeys. And here you can set um, what a hotkey is. is you know, it's just a button on your keyboard to where at any point, if you, if you happen to be doing something and say, hey, I want to uh, record what I'm doing right now, you can just hit your hotkey and um, Camtasia Studio 5 will automatically um, pop up with the region. You select your region, uh, then you hit uh, your hotkey again and it records and then you can hit it again to pause it and then there's another hotkey that you can hit. Uh, I have it on F set on F2 to uh, stop the recording and um, so that's just one little trick uh, to add to this. So um, you've now created your first YouTube ad uh, with Camtasia Studio 5.